and a wonderful atmosphere with everyone here and the aftermath of what took place and uh, of course uh, I reached up with this wonderful gentleman there um, and he's got to say something uh, I reached up with a gentleman he would like to what, you, like, what, what were you telling me about Jimbo's Kitchen? Awesome channel absolutely awesome it's, it's so natural it's so laid back it's not it's not fancy and done up like all these other channels at the moment. It just it feels very authentic. It feels real. You're cooking in your own kitchen. Um, I, I discovered your channel not too long ago, and I, I honestly I subscribed. You've taught me a little bit about um, some ethnic meals that I did not even know. My mom used to cook curry chicken and all these other things, and I had no idea how to make it. And now finding finding your channel, man, you taught me. You taught me you taught me how to make all those things. I saw some videos also about you showing some restaurants at Corona and, and Elmhurst. And it was awesome because I lived out there and I didn't even know half of these places. So thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for the channel. Keep up the good work. I know it's like all other YouTube YouTubers out there. You start small and then you get big. And you're one of the few that deserve to get big. Hi. Thank you very much for those wonderful words. What's your name, man? My name is Neil. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for putting out all this uh, content. Mr. Leo. Yeah, keep up the good work. And you like the mixture that I do. I bring sceneries with different um, occasions it's taking place in upstate New York, Schenectady. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And um, yeah. New York City. Yeah, yeah honestly, I, I'm, I'm seeing, you know, different areas of New York that I didn't even expect. Like, I didn't know anything about Schenectady until, you, you know, you showed us in your video. So keep thank that up, man. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. I'll bring him to you a little clip more and I thank this gentleman for the wonderful words. I thank the gentleman for those wonderful words there. He is happy to say something for you. Thank the gentleman for those wonderful words. I'm going to continue a little bit more. As the night is getting closer, it's getting darker. And the atmosphere continues with everyone. And that's my Mr. Phil there. What we got there, man? You got some chow mein? Yes, sir. Bob Marley, yeah. Bob Marley, yeah. <laughs> Good everyone here once again. Goodbye, Kitchen. On another mission. <laughs> yes, everyone. I'm going to ask you real quick. I said, you know, I was waiting for, for the time you asked me what I'm going to go in Jimbai Kitchen. You know? Yes, I yes. See, I see you put a lot of people in Jimbai Kitchen. So. Thank you, GGY. Yeah, man, you know what, though? No, I don't know if you got it running, but keep doing what you're doing, you know, just, you know, yeah, I got a lot of people talking about your work, bro. like, I got Paul watching, Paul was like, yo, this guy took a, made a 40 minutes video on how to make fish curry, and I said, you know what, that's right there. <laughs> and of course, those are wonderful words from the band, Mr. G. Man Ganesh, Mr. G. Right here in Chimbai's kitchen. I, I. <laughs> and I do thank you for those wonderful words. And uh, hey, happy to have you in Chimbai's kitchen also. Any shout out you want to say hello to? I would like to? you to, to invite me and when we actually make it something. You know, I would like you to go and make some bar or something. You, you know? got it. <laughs> and um, you know, um, I must say, and of course. Um, you know, being right here with the folks uh, um, in this atmosphere here, I must say Jim Bice Kitchen here with you. And I, yes, once again, um, I reach this wonderful gentleman. would like to say hello to Mr. Patrick and Jermaine. Um, and he would like to add a little bit more. And that's the man, Mr. G. Man Ganesh there. I want, I want to say a special, uh, a special uh, big up to all the Ramadan people. And uh, I want to say one God, one love. And uh, you said Patrick uh, from CDTA. Yes, I got. I want a bit, not just. There's a few people there that I can't remember the name off of mine right now. I want to say, you know, one love to you all, you guys. And continue to do what you're doing.
Thank you, brother. And of course, once again, happy Ramadan uh, to Mr. Jermaine. Yes, uh, Jermaine and from CDTA. Yes, and I do thank you again, Mr. Jiman Ganesh. Yes, one love. Right. You know, not just like for, for nobody, but because why I'm saying this, you, you go at places. I see how people treat me. Me as a person, I realize this. I go, I go, I go to, to people, places with, with different ethnic people. Why, Dad, whatever. when did Atta, Atta Mamu die? Like, like two months ago. Two months ago, right? Yeah, yeah. That's when you kill him? <laughs> yeah. So, so, and you know, I go to different different type of people, and I see them. And when when I open, when they open, like for instance, I went to a pool place, and this is a perfect example. I had a bigger beard, and I'm more like I'm not even Muslim. That was right there. Remember where you are. Right? Remember where you are. I didn't hear you. Remember where you are. Okay. And once again, Samuel Vengasami here with a wonderful gentleman by the name of Mr. G. Ganesh. And I really love the words he's emphasizing to each and every one right now. And uh, it's a pleasure to have him here right here on uh, Jim Boy's Kitchen with Samuel Vengasami. Uh, yes, Mr. G. Man. I, I wanted to say something. This is a controversial topic. But me, it's kind of controversial. Like, I, 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 I had. A lot of black people say, oh, this person is racial, this person. But I never experienced it because I think I never took the time to. And then recently I said, I want to really understand what they are saying. And then I said, okay, I was going to a pool place and then we had a white person there, a sale person. And I said, let me see what it is. And I had a bigger beard and I go in and right off the back, Racial, they're not going to treat you different. And we are racist, change the way people address people being racist. They're not going to say nothing direct to you because they know all of this law. But when you want to hear a person is racist, quiet and let them open their mouth and how the tone of their voice. That's how you know, and I and I, and I listened to that, and I, and, I, and I was like, I came in intention to buy a pool. I had the money to buy a pool, and I heard it, and I said, wow, do I want to support this kind of business? You go with the, with the, the action speaks the personality here. Yeah. I said, because this guy didn't know that I had the money, because the way he was saying, I was like, that's, that's, so then I said, is, is, I, do I want to support this kind of business? Because I felt like racism is not a person, it is a personality that we, we picked up from our parents and our grandparents. And what happened after they die now, the racism is changing, you can see that. Because racism is not a person. We, we don't have racism, it's just, we are programmed. And you know, and it's a choice that we make, right? Yeah, like I could, like I go and I talk to, per, to a person. I said, "Hey, I can meet you." I said, "Hey, how are you doing?" I'm not racist. I, I'm well. Right off the back, I can you see how I have some of this way I was talking, but then I can if you listen to the tone of that person, you know, because it doesn't show it no more. People do a good job of hiding their feelings, and hiding the way. Yeah. And you know one thing I want to say, Sammy and, and, and Sammy on the radio is two different persons and it confuses me. Sammy on the radio and Sammy Jim Boy Kitchen is not, it's not the person I know. Because this guy on the radio, this guy sounds like one of the awesome disc jockeys like you could ever hear. And what was his name? Samuel Vengasami. Yes. When you go by that name. And that was awesome to see that you could go, you have so much personality. Those two are the two major personalities because we work together. And when I saw you at work and the personality, you, you show the people and I'm like, wow, this is not the Sammy I know. This, this personality is so deluded. It's not, it's so like, oh, yes, sir, how are you doing? But the Sammy I know says, hey, I'm here to meet you and uh, if you like me, um, you can go uh, you know, do something. <laughs> but, yeah. I follow what you, you know, say. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, Mr. G. Manganesh, and uh, yes, and you would like to send a shout out to anybody or? I, I just want to say, you know, let's be more human, let's be more loving to each other, and uh, that's that's something that we can, uh, we're capable of doing, because people think we're capable of going to Mars, but I think we're capable of loving, and you know one thing I see happen a lot, people say that, oh, God is loving, God is caring, God is this, but I'm like, you know, human beings can be loving, and we are just very great, Mr. G-Man Ganesh. Samuel, thank you, Samuel, right. you once again. Thank you. Yes, it's a great pleasure. On to the next one, folks. Uh, I'll be off every one, everyone right here. A little glimpse. Goodbye, everybody. Be kind to someone that's not kind to you, and kindness will prevail. Until the next time, folks. Adios, mi amigos, and goodbye, everybody.